guy. <laughs> Give it up for David again, everybody. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Please say we tell some news, Madison. I think we should. Only facts. <laughs> So, uh, according to an article, Seattle drivers will lose 10 days in commuting time this year, as did our guest for the episode. <laughs> Think of all the things you could do with 10 days. You could take half a J-term class. You could drive all the way across the country and back. Or, if you're lucky, you could successfully log into dual authentication one time. <laughs> their car into a 7-Eleven building in Auburn, Washington. Apparently somebody told them that it was bring your own container day and they were like, hey, I got an idea. <laughs> the Washington State House votes for permanent daylight savings time and it's about time. The first time Ben Franklin wrote about it was in a satirical essay because he didn't want to wake up early. <laughs> Okay, it was instituted during World War I to save energy, and it was shown that it, in fact, does not save energy at all. We do this for no reason. People actually die. In hospitals, any charting done between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. is deleted when it goes back to 1 a.m. So people born during that time frame are erased from history. <laughs> it also increases the chance of heart failure and heart dysrhythmia. And <laughs> I had a hard time saying that word, and I got it right, okay? And so, but if you die during daylight savings time, technically you get erased, and you technically never died. So the only good thing that comes from daylight saving is that we found a way to live forever. A man ate Taco Bell sauce in order to survive an organ. This is true. And it made national news. And Taco Bell actually offered them free Taco Bell for a year. Um, and he ate Taco Bell in order to survive. And then Taco Bell gives him an offer that will probably kill him. Um, <laughs> but uh, I feel like if you're going to give somebody a year's supply of Taco Bell, it's absolutely useless if it doesn't also come with a year's supply of toilet paper. However, if Taco Bell is giving free food to those who eat it to survive, then why are college kids still paying for it? I'm making a petition, you're all signing it. I feel like you all don't eat at Taco Bell enough to be college students, I don't know. Anyway. Tennessee is the first state to offer free community college. Free college in Tennessee reminds me of the well-known pickup line. Oh, really? Okay. You're gonna flatter me? You're gonna flatter me? Go ahead. You're gonna test it out. Test it out. You're gonna say I'm a 10? You're gonna say I'm a 10. Watch this. Watch this. Go ahead. Uh, actually, it's, uh, okay. are, are you from Tennessee? Because oh. I have too much student debt to date someone who's not. Ah. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I don't know how long he's been down there. I don't know <laughs> Tacoma FD, a TV show about firefighters, takes place in Tacoma since it's the wettest city in the U.S. <laughs> so there is no need to put out fires. However, it is filmed actually in Los Angeles. So Tacoma's tourism is so bad that even the show based on it doesn't want to come here. On a completely different note, nine arrested in Washington Middle School basketball game riot. Each word gets more interesting with that sentence. It was in Vancouver, Washington, and I guess uh, the middle schoolers took their production of Les Miserables a little too seriously. Only like one person seen that show. David, quit untying my shoe. So there were 60 to 70 teenagers against 33 police units. Wait a minute, kids in an all-out war versus adults? This sounds like these kids have been watching too much early 2000s TV programming. Uh, some of you remembered it. <laughs> they emergency expelled 27 students because of a middle school basketball game. That ha what happened at this game? They didn't say it in the article. Uh, but I have seen a middle school game where a team got beaten by a golden retriever. And do you know how many people got arrested? Nobody. Nobody. Buddy. TSA 
is asking people in eastern Washington to stop bringing their loaded guns in their carry-on bags. <laughs> loaded guns in their carry-ons? <laughs> like, not even in their check bags, in their carry-ons. Well, the Easterners are truly the Texans of Washington. I, uh... Ooh. There's like three people from Spokane who are like, I hey! resent that. Hey! <laughs> no Texas here. Walla Walla's crying. <laughs> I understand they do it in case they need to shoot a terrorist, but if you bring a gun on a loaded plane, then you're the terrorist. <laughs> I'll breathe through that one. <laughs> you said loaded plane. I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want them to keep laughing at your mistake. <laughs> but, uh, the Tacoma News Tribune wrote an article with the headline, Tacoma finally gets another waterfront restaurant. Yes, finally. <laughs> do you know how many times I've been to the waterfront and thought, this is beautiful, oh, but do you know what would make it a little bit better? Another waterfront restaurant. <laughs> Why do we build waterfront restaurants? Do we really need to eat fish right in front of the starving whales? Oh, oh wait, I forgot. We are feeding the whales something. Mm -hmm. Feel it. Get sad. Everyone. Do you feel how sad it is? David. Take it out of here. PLU advertised itself saying that we were going to be carbon neutral by 2020. They did this to recruit students. Um, well, guess what we aren't going to be. And uh, they never really actually told us, but thank God we are getting minute by minute email updates about the search for the Dean of Nursing. <laughs> I actually like those updates, yeah. so I like to stay in. You would. <laughs> Seattle's local vi vigilante, wow, that's where I stutter? Okay. <laughs> Seattle's local vigilante, Phoenix Jones, is taking a hiatus because he's at a weird place in his life. <laughs> now, this is where the weird place starts. <laughs> Not when he decided to wear spandex to become a real-life Batman. No, he's been shot and stabbed. Having a midlife crisis is probably the most normal thing he's ever done. And he stated, my whole life has been about making balance. Oh no, that sounds like somebody else I know. <laughs> All right, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> Thought I was gonna get a better laugh. <laughs> PLU spent two years of search time, countless volunteer hours from students and staff, hundreds of thousands of dollars and emails in order to find a new president only to stick to the president that we already have. And, reportedly, Alan Bento Belton previously didn't even want the job. Now, um, as we can feel the silence in the room, I wow, honestly think that this is a very large case of white privilege. Um, but, can I get a white privilege? So we tried to make some white privilege. <laughs> So we tried to make some commentary on white privilege, <laughs> and you all didn't like it very much. So, uh, thank you. Speaking Woo! of Gypsy Temple, loving it, they're here in the house tonight! <laughs> <laughs>